guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of season 2 of Cells at Whip. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm hungry! <laughs> I just got one more show. Ah, get him! I mean, we know what he's going to come back because of that preview that we talked about last week. I don't think NK's, NK's going to kill it, but... She's right. I'll be fine. Oh my god. The boy thing got swam away. Like, oh my god, the current, the freaking water took the cutest thing on earth away from this cell. And who knows if we're going to get it back. But as I said kind of really last week, they spoiled it. I think if they didn't really show that preview or really had anything with one of the cells in the preview, then yes, like we would have been crying. But I just wonder how it's going to get back to the regular cell and NK cell and white blood cell. I don't kinds. Again, no. So who rescued him? <gasps> ah. Mm mm. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> nah. So fucking cute. Because his body is so big, you know, you're looking everywhere for it. No, you're gonna find him. Not because y'all gonna kill it. Well, 
Um, uh, hmm. You're looking for a red blood cell. We're going to find her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Maybe you need to ditch NK? But what were you looking for? Oh god. Well, at least it's influenza and not coronavirus, but influenza is still bad as well. Mm, no, that's... Body takes steroids as well. <laughs> What's up, memory? You sure you're just not acting out again? <clears throat> oh. So then, how do you defeat it, then? <laughs> no. What, what you gonna do to it? You scare me. Oh my god. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Hmm. Yeah, but you can't handle that either. Oh, God.
There's no way you can outrun that. Bruh. See, y'all, this body needs some Tylenol. Heck, maybe some ibuprofen. Man, yeah, go drink you some ginger ale. No! Ah! Because you're hesitating, possibly? Mm, despair. But she looks cute, though. Oh, damn. Are all of these embarrassing photos? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god.
Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. And then there was one. What well, damn white blood cell? <laughs> Yeah, because you still want to know.
But how? The cancer cells? The cancer cell. Well, I'm guessing that's next week, no matter what. But you know what? That makes the most sense. Because something told me, even when season one's episode of The Cancer Cell ended, we knew he was going to come back, and it was finally time. <laughs> yeah. Because, honestly, I want to see these two duke it out again. It's going to be so good. But, oh, the fact that Ordinary Cell only has one acid left, and I'm afraid for him to let this go, because, I mean, he's become so attached to all four of them, it was hard to let the first three go. Now that it's only really one left, I, I think it's going to be a lot more harder. It's almost like saying goodbye to a loved one, a friend, anyone. I mean, even though, yes, with the other, you may see each other again, but it still hurts, like... You don't know how long it's going to be until you're able to talk to that person, sell, whatever, again. Also, this was, like, what, the second episode that Red Blood Cell wasn't mentioned in? Like, oh my god, like, you know, she could have been walking around in the background, something causing her own trouble, like, always. <laughs> but it was good. I like the fact that there are episodes where White Blood Cell, because they did this in season one as well, but any episode where, like, any of the cells, specifically White, NK, <clears throat> Killer T, <clears throat> any of them, get that, I froze, I froze. <laughs> get that main focus, is good in my opinion, really, really good. Hard candy bacteria. No. Yeah, he's got to give him up next week. That's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt. Because it's just, like I said, he's grown an attachment to all four. But since there's now only one left and he eventually has to give it up, it's just going to hurt a lot. So, so, so much more to the point where I'm just going to like, I'm probably going to cry next week. I mean, because I didn't cry with the other three because I'm like it's okay like he's probably going to see him again but honestly really who knows anything could really happen between this next episode to the end of this series it seems like they're possibly maybe gonna have them make a more appearance I don't know but then you also have to think about when Cancer Cell comes back if he doesn't come back next week it's probably going to be the following week maybe I'm not 100% sure we just gotta wait but yeah this episode was really good I mean still even though Red Blood Cell isn't the main, wasn't the main focus of these last, like, few episodes, they're really good. I mean, she's probably, like I said, in the background, getting lost, causing her own ish, and someone else has to save her who is not White Blood Cell, but, you know, yeah, always there to save her no matter what. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 5 of season 2 of Cells at Work. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 6. Bye, guys.